Welcome back everyone to Astian's Let's Play of Wild Arms Ultra Code F on El Tari's YouTube channel. Where we last left off, we were in the town of Court CM, which you can actually see why is my oh hang on a sec guys, what am I doing? That might fix that. There we go. My frame rate's better now. So Court CM, as you can see on the sign there. We did uh, come in and talk to the merchant, but we're now gonna actually commence with exploring the village itself. We have not seen a girl your age visit Court CM in a long time. We welcome everybody here, so please make yourself at home. What young girl what are you talking about? I really like that there has a river running through it like this. You can't walk across it. You're a pansy. What's this? You must have heard about the pillars that emit strange light. Rumor has it that a crazy monster is trapped inside. I don't believe it though, because I pecked this one pillar a few times and nothing happened. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, bird. Oh, see what we should probably do is this. Alright, so we can look in this barrel. 15 gala, whoopee. Alright, so I found out that you can actually, if you want to sleep, you can sleep in here. Because uh, this is the orphanage. The box is full of toys. It may be possible to find rare items if you search the box. What? Well, search it. I did. Oh my god. I think I'm a fairly strong person, but I just can't stand mice. Those big teeth in front and those big beady eyes. Ugh, I'm making myself sick. Welcome to the orphanage. We have extra bunk beds for our guests. Feel free to rest here. Our orphanage is well funded by the money Jessica and Jane bring in from outside. We don't discuss what they are up to when they are gone. We just make sure they feel at home when they are back. Oh, so this would explain why Calamity Jane's so intent on finding treasure. Nikolai found me by sheer luck. Since then, he's taught me physics, arm theory, and the ancient language. Needless to say, I respect Nikolai more than anyone in this world. Who's Nikolai? Okay. Are you wanderers? Are you also after the secret treasure like Anthony? Who's Anthony? The book is titled Seventh Moon. The demon king, Angle Moa, has been depicted in hundreds of enduring myths. Angle Moa is known as an invincible monster who will bring incredible destruction and enslave all of Fulgaia. Will humans be powerless to stop this demon king? Angle Moa and simply surrender to his reign? Angle Moa's greatest weapon is his enemy's fear. Fear invites terror and the inability to act. Eliminating the fear from within is the way to defeat the almighty demon king. And just as important is to not accept the demon king prophecy as foregone fact. Well, if we could encounter all, if we could enter all of our encounters being like, I'm not scared of you, and then the monster just falls flat. If we could have done that with Berserk, that would have made that fight so much easier. There's a horse. Is it sane? Can I not go in there? Oh, okay. I'm just a teacher now at the orphanage, but I used to be good with magic spells. The more FP you have during battle, the higher your defense rating will be for when you're on guard. This is especially important during battles that are long and drawn out. Oh, so higher FP means a better defense. That's interesting. Let's go in this one. Whoa! This bitch is really hoarding. What else did she have? Oh my god, she seriously is hoarding everything. I think there's one here. One here. And one here. Revive fruit. Demons attacked while my husband and I were in the middle of a divorce mediation. My husband was devoured, but I was fortunate enough to be rescued by Jane and the butler of the Maxwell family. Wow, she doesn't even sound remorseful. She's not like, oh my, maybe she's like, thank fuck he's dead. Don't have to give him any of my money. It's a picture of a smiling cowboy. It's even signed. Along with some knickknacks on a shelf, there is a book titled Men of the Wasteland, The Inside Story. The cover shows a furious woman showing a snapshot to a man. 
the fuzzy picture looks like the man with another woman. Oh, who is cheating on her. Medicine takes up most of the shelf, along with the book titled Edible Plants, A Guide to the Wasteland. It is a dog eared oh, it is dog eared for much use, with a few handwritten notes in the margins. Doesn't dog eared mean when you turn the page down in the top corner to kind of mark a page? I think that's what that means. Actually, can we go around the outside here? Oh! Sneaky. And there's one more down over there. Okay. Let's go into here. It looks like a barn. Maybe not. <gasps> Doggy! I can't sniff straight and I've been sweating like a dog. Well, you are a dog. Do you think I'm getting sick? Oof. I think you've been a hypochondriac. Maybe. Just slightly. How can I possibly get to the outer sea? I just heard about a treasure located there. It's an ocarina whose sound can summon a giant. But since it's in the outer sea, I have to find a way to get there. Oh. My main job is to take on any manual labor that's too hard for the kids, such as taking care of the horses and carpentry. Don't let that fool you though. They work just as hard as any adult. Can I like pop the horse? Oh, you can! You know, you don't know how great it feels to be brushed. If only I had a human hand growing out of my back, I would brush myself all day. Okay, fair enough. We know that you like being brushed now. Thanks for, thanks for that little notification. So it must be... Have I talked to her? I wonder when Miss Jane is coming back. Will she keep her promise and play house with me next time? Is she deaf? Why is she yelling? Don't be so obnoxious. Uh, oh. Gimel coin. Gimel coins are known for their unique but strange powers. Gimel coins were used as currency by the Elu. The Elu were known for their superior knowledge of alchemy. So it is not surprising that their coins would possess magical power. Do they use it to buy things? Guardian of Desire. The Guardians joined with humans and Elus to fight against the demons during the Great Demon War. However, the Guardian of Desire was said to have sided with the demons during the war. The Guardian of Desire, with its dark aura, was lured into the demons' world with Desire and helped attack Fulgaia. After the Great War, the Guardian of Desire was banished along with the demons. The Guardian of Desire is known as Lucid. Oh. She's a guardian lord who gathers strength from the will of people's minds. That's that dog thing that's with Boomerang. Let's go out here. Where are we? This looks like Emma's workshop almost. But my, maybe like a primitive version. Oh, is that Anthony maybe? Oh, it's Nikolai. I have not seen many wanderers recently. You have a customized arm. May I see it? Oh. This is where we're supposed to go. Is this... How did you obtain this arm? It's mine. Excuse me. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nikolai Maxwell. I am the arm meister in this village. Six of my colleagues and I devoted all of our time studying the arm with the Wanderer Master Zeppert Ruffnaught. Rough Knight. Oh, that's the same surname as Rudy. The arm you hold was discovered and restored by my master, so you must be... Rudy Rough Knight. I see it now. You are old man Zeppert's grandchild. Oops, excuse me. I hope I did not offend you by calling your grandfather an old man. I got so used to calling him Old Man Zeppard. Words cannot describe how much I appreciate your grandfather's teachings. He took care of the six of us. Oh, I almost forgot all about it. I once found a powerful arm cartridge. It's stored at the barrier shelter. If you can handle that arm, then you'll be able to handle the cartridge. You must let me give it to you. Please accept it as a gesture of respect for your grandfather. Yes, of course I will. Thank you very much. Meet me at the barrier shelter. It's located in the woods to the southwest. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I actually didn't mention things that I did off camera. So I did some exploring around Quartzium. 
and I found 3,000 Gala northwest of Court CM and the Skill Windbreaker 2 southwest of Court CM, which was actually on the little island. And I also figured out you can actually turbo with uh, Asga Asgard, so you're not walking around really slowly like a moron. Controlling Golems. The Golems, which were introduced during the Great Demon War, responded to voice commands. Also, musical instruments that emitted sounds in a specific frequency range could be used as controllers. This was necessary because the AI installed in the Golems was not capable of making complex decisions. The better the navigator who controlled the Golems actions, the more effective the Golem became. Oh. So does that mean as Cecilia becomes more apt apt, I guess, as her aptitude raises, rises, she'll be able to control Asgard better? What's in here? What if this is the Maxwell family home? Why is there a bed in front of the door? History of Arctica. Though known for its treacherous tundra setting, the Principality of Arctica is also one of the largest industrialized nations. The secret of their strength comes from the numerous artifacts found in their territory. These vestiges from ancient times helped build Arctica's industrial technologies. And through trade with Arctica, these artifacts are also beneficial to all of Filgaia. Like the, uh, was it? The arch that Mother was cocooned in. It doesn't seem beneficial to me. Wait, oh yeah, it's up there. Breath mint. Rudy, are you preparing to kiss Jane? I wonder if this is Jane's room. What's the point of having a door there when you can't go out it? There's nothing in here. I wonder if this is the Maxwell family home. It looks like it could be. Alright, I guess we have to go to Barrier Shelter. But first, there was an item out here. Oh, it's a chest. How do I get there? Oh, That's not fair. I probably need an item. So, I'll just write that down quickly. Get a pen. So, court CM. Chest on ledge. And I'm guessing, by the conversation that we had with Nikolai, we'll be getting a new cartridge for Rudy soon, which should be interesting. I'm wondering when we'll get another fast draw technique for, uh... Yeah, that's all I'm doing. For Jack, actually. In actual fact, the original Wild Arms game had an item called Secret... Secret Technique or Secret Scroll or something that could be used to reduce the MP usage for Jack's abilities. But I guess in this game, the MP usage is reduced by using items. Uh, sorry, using the ability. I'm not going to bother getting on Asgard, we can just go over there. Uh, if we get into a battle, that's fine, because you guys haven't seen the enemies around here. Barrier Shelter. Just in case, we secured the supplies and the cartridge for my master. This barrier can only be accessed by a retina scan. But because a small child could wander in, it is easily opened from inside. Oh, I think the entry pattern is complete. Does that mean he has to come with us? No? Please feel free to retrieve the cartridge from the chest over there. What, so this isn't an actual big dungeon? Oh, it is, but the other barriers are down. What is this? It's like a pressure plate. I guess we can't use it yet. I'll just be Rudy for the sake of the pure fact that it's going to be an item for him that we find in here. There is a treasure box solidly locked. It, if force is used, it may break. You can always tell if it's going to be an arm cartridge because they're um, chests that need to be bombed. 
Mighty Avalanche. The Mighty Avalanche is a cartridge that holds 12 heat-seeking bullets. Each bullet seeks a random target, thus distributing damage randomly. Interesting. Is this the cartridge Nikolai referred to? Yes, that's it. We better get back. We have what we came here for. Oh. How many bullets does it have? Oh, what am I doing? I always do that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Do, 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 do. I know it's going to lag a bit too. Oh. I guess due to the randomized nature of it as well, it's probably best to not use, uh, use it by itself. To actually use my force point ability first. I guess maybe at some point we'll have to come back here. Thankfully, the cartridge is back where it belongs. Grandpa Zephyr will be happy about that. Now, let's go home. I'm closing the barrier. Oh. Oh. So I guess we will have to come back here at some point later. Zeppet's grandchild turned out to be a talented young man who can handle the arm with ease. I wonder how old man Zeppet is doing. I hope he is well. It has been a decade since I saw him last. You got some nice hair going there. Oh, this music sounds cute. Rudy tells his story in bits and pieces about his early days as a wanderer. Oh! It's a movie! Is that Zeppard? Is this when there were like lots of wanderers around? Zeppard Rough Knight, a wanderer who took the lone orphan, Rudy, under his wing as if Rudy were of Zeppard's own flesh and blood. I really like this track. Likewise, Rudy loved and respected Zeppet like a grandfather. I have been thinking of ways to utilize the arm's unique characteristics. Maybe someday we can use it to help bring people together instead of just using it as a weapon. The text is moving by itself, sorry. Don't you think that would be a great accomplishment? Little by little, during their travels, Zeppet taught Rudy how to work and control the arm. And, more importantly, Zeppet taught Rudy to have the heart and desire to save people. Oh, so that's where he got his good nature from. Is he dying? But one day there was a painful separation. Zeppet died from wounds suffered during their journey. Oh, So that's why Rudy's wandering all alone. And once again, Rudy was alone in the world. Well, he's not anymore. He has Jack and Cecilia. Oh, that's so sad. And, whoops, I forgot to turn my um, phone onto silent. For Zeppet's grave, Rudy chose the place closest to the sky and then continued wandering. It was a very lonely journey. I like that we gain a bit of exposition on Rudy. Till now. Yeah, exactly. You've got Jack, Hampane, and Cecilia. I always thought of the master as too tough to die. It's kind of a shock to hear it. But instead of feeling down, I know the master would have told me to look ahead and think of ways to honor his memory instead. Maybe you should start by telling Rudy to remove, remove the band-aid from his cheek. By the way, I must commend you on your great skill with the arm. You must have a strong mind to be able to handle such a powerful and complicated arm was able to activate the arm on the, the arm mechanism on the ghost ship, so he must be pretty powerful. And your collection of cartridges in, is indeed something else, too. I have a daughter around your age who can handle arms. Ah, oh, is he Jane's father? But certainly not to your level of expertise. He must have trained vigorously as a child. I'm home! Home sweet home. <laughs> I just love how the music stops. Huh? Anyway guys, my time is about to go off, so this has been Astin on Altaro's YouTube channel, taking you on a let's play of Wild Arms Ultra Codec. When we return, we will see if Jane is actually 
Nikolai's daughter and what we can do from here. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time. Cheers!